most PW who did not wish to accept return to the communist side had already been released under the new life program. However, some PW changed their minds at the last minute. One such was this man. While the ICCS discussed what should be done, a group of newly released PW moved into the area. As it turned out in this instance, a decision on the matter would be violently settled. South Vietnamese military police attempted to protect the man from harassment or intimidation. A decision was made to take him back to the aircraft, but BC personnel prevented such a move. While the ICCS was still discussing the matter, a group of approximately 25 men rushed the guards and took the man by force. They dragged him off behind the release site and away from the cameras, beating and kicking him. BC officials at the site did nothing. Finally, when someone in the crowd raised an arm, the attack stopped. Later, at the insistence of the ICCS, the man was brought to their shelter for questioning. A clearly frightened PW now insisted he would return to the VC. The South Vietnamese asked if the man was giving his answers under mental duress as a result of the beating. The ICCS decided that if the man was beaten and still wanted to stay, that was up to him. Uh, I saw him grabbed by the other prisoners and dragged on the ground. And when he answered questions here, his mouth was beaten. When I first saw him, the time back, his mouth was not beaten. No. No. Hồi nãy là vì quá sự kiện kẹp tôi không trở về được. The next time such an incident occurred, the ICCS was ready. When a second PW refused repatriation, the ICCS chairman took steps to isolate the man and prevent any intimidation. He was escorted directly to an ICCS shelter. When the ICCS prepared to ask the man whether he wished to remain with the VC or return to an area controlled by the Republic of Vietnam, the VC attacked what they termed the Saigon regime claiming the man had been intimidated. The VC then marched approximately 50 of the returnees up to the meeting site, apparently hoping to frighten the man with a show of force. The U.S. and South Vietnamese protested the show as being barbaric. The only thing we should do is the same as we did the last time. We do the same on the last man we asked him. Does he want to stay or does he want to go? It was finally agreed to allow the man to return to territory controlled by the Republic of Vietnam. (laughs) 
On the last day scheduled for repatriation, a group of more than 200 PW at Benoit refused to return to the North Vietnamese or the Viet Cong. The North Vietnamese and the Viet Cong refused to witness the event. The PW were notified that they would not be forcefully repatriated, but would be released in South Vietnam instead. Their reaction spoke for itself. The United States, the Republic of Vietnam, and her other allies in the recent conflict share with more than 130 nations a special commitment to the civilized standards in the Geneva Conventions. The human rights of the captured were protected. Their wounds or illnesses were treated. The PW were interned in accordance with international law. Delegates of the International Committee of the Red Cross had access to the PW and recommendations to PW camp authorities were carried out. More than 26,000 enemy PW were returned to the Viet Cong and North Vietnamese, while 11,000 new life PW were released and returned to take up the traditional Vietnamese way of life in South Vietnamese society.